rising Leo moon. This is Ellie with your December love focus reading for 2015. This is the last reading for the entire year. Now these are general readings. They will not apply to everyone. Then some people every word will apply. Do check your sun, your moon and your rising signs as each video will give you a bit more information. But the only way to get a proper reading for you specifically is to have one with me. I will be choosing one for the overall tone of the month in December for you Leo and then one for the four weeks in December. Let's get started. You have the King of Cups. Your partner needs to rely on you. You need to be strong for them. You can sense it, they can sense it. This is water signs, Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer. This is emotionally being down and out or emotionally feeling isolated, feeling unsupported, um, emotionally sensing that someone needs more love, someone needs more support, needing more attention. Now this um, king is a poker face king. What you see on the, on the face you will never be able to read those. But it's a bit like a duck. So on the surface, uh, everything looks fine. But underneath the water, the legs are going like this. So it's a bit like the poker-faced um, Pisces king. Everything looks completely fine on the surface. But underneath, they're struggling. They're really churning that water up. And they're really struggling. So you need to be there for your partner. Now, if you don't have a partner, this could be talking about you. Emotionally looking after yourself. Emotionally giving yourself attention. Now, this is a male Pisces. Um, there is plenty of fish in the sea. Um, there is a boat coming in. So there is good luck coming in love. There's luxury of plenty of um, love opportunities coming for you which I feel like they're going to come through in the middle to the end of December going into January. This is about um, if you're just starting to date someone you might be dating someone who could be a little bit um, self-assured, a little bit bossy, a little bit well, being a king. Kings sometimes uh, do take over without even realizing. Um, first week we have the lovers card. This is about Feeling like you're working towards a great partnership, a great team. You're uh, all on the same page. Now, if you're single, you might meet someone this week, uh, a Gemini here, a Gemini. Um, and you meet someone who's very much like you on the same page. On the second week, we do have the Queen of Wands. This is Fire Signs, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Now, some of you think that it's down and out and it's all over with you and your partner, but this little black cat here tells me there's going to be a second chance. Um, those of you that have been uh, freshly dating someone new, the seeds that you're um, laying now will go well into the future. Uh, this is about feeling strong. This is rulings going in your way. This is um, your passions. You're on top of your passions and you're feeling very strongly about that. In the third week, we have uh, a message from the other side, from those that love you. They are sending you love, telling you that you are loved. Um, for others, this is about running into exes. I'm telling you, you think you're never going to hear from the sex again, and guess what? Bing, bang! There they are, back in your life. So, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, perhaps, or this is just telling you an ex is coming back in your way. So, what's happening in the fourth week? The fourth week, you're feeling a little bit insecure. You might have had too much to drink. This card is a five. Five's a chaos, crisis, uh, shock, upheaval, the wall being pulled over your eyes, the carpet being pulled out from underneath you. Some of you might wake up with the worst hangover ever and realize you accidentally married someone. Uh, remember that episode out of Friends, who woke up with the worst hangover ever. Um, this is, for some of, um, of you, are about alcoholism, addictions, uh, falling off the wagon, uh, and feeling very badly about that. Um, you could be dealing with an alcoholism in your relationship, or this could be you. Um, this is also about feeling like you've lost. Uh, you've lost those three things, but you've still got two cups standing behind you. And if you would just turn around and have a look, you would see that all is not lost. There's things to move with, things to improve on. You've got, uh, you do have something to build up on. And this is also about depression. Um, 
this is the third week, so this is going, uh, sometimes it's very lonely over Christmas, New Year. Perhaps you're feeling alone. Perhaps you're feeling like nobody cares. Perhaps you're feeling like um, everything has gone to hell. Um, all the arrangements you've made, you've spilt all your cups. So your emotions are all over the place. You thought you were in one way, but you actually found that you, you might be arguing with friends or family. And your relationship as well, and one might have spiraled the other one on, or the other one might have spiraled this one on. It's almost like, you know, your emotions are up and down at the moment, so you, you've dropped, uh, you know, three of these cups. So emotionally, you're feeling drained and empty. Perhaps this alcoholism is draining you, and so you're um, feeling unsupported by anybody else. Okay, what's the fourth one? We've got justice. For some of you, you might be having domestic disputes, calling the police, um, having to attend court. If you're attending court, rulings will go in your way. This is also about um, air signs, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. This is about finding fair-minded and balance in a relationship. This is about um, being balanced and fair in a relationship, about equal 50-50. This is about what holds in the balance of finding the balance in your relationship. And that's very important for some of you is that you've made this decision in your mind or maybe you even sat down and said to each other, well, we're just going to wait on this and then we'll decide what our you know, plans will be. Um, some of you might decide to no longer get divorced. Sorry, I'll just tell you what I hear. Um, and that is our reading for the uh, month of December, Leo. I hope you've enjoyed that reading and I shall see you in January.